Hello YouTube, I'm Jérôme Renogou and today we're gonna do a video on how I do an underwater video. First, we'll talk about the equipment I use, as well as the settings that I put on my camera. First, the equipment. I'm using a Sony A7R 3 that you cannot see because, well, I'm filming with it right now. And I use mainly two lenses, the 1635 Zeiss F4 that I use for wide angle and this one, the 90 mm macro lens that I use for the macro video. For the housing, I have this one. It's a Nauticam housing. I already made a video on how to put my Sony A7R 3 in the housing. If you're interested, you can just check the video in the description. This housing is very reliable because it has a vacuum system that allows me to make vacuum in my housing and I have a light that turns green when it's okay and that would turn red if the vacuum was not proper. So before getting in the water, I already know if there is a leak or not. I'm using the Pro 8 light. It's a 3000 lumen, which is quite okay. I wish I had more because underwater, we lose a lot of colors and the bigger the light, the better it is. I have two of them and I will point them depending if I use wide angle or macro. So for macro, I will point my light directly to the subject and try to get it as bright as possible to make it easier for my camera. I also have strobes on my setup because even if I'm filming on that particular day, I may want to take a few pictures so it doesn't hurt to have my strobes. For the strobe, I use the CNC YSD1. They're pretty powerful and pretty good. Depending on the lens I'm gonna use, I can use the macro port like this, and actually even put in front the AOI 900 diopter. This diopter have a magnification of about 15, plus 15, so when I'm aiming for the really small subjects, it can really help me. Very important things when you do video is to be very steady. We'll talk about it in a later section. One of the ways to achieve this is to have a tripod. In my case, I have three legs in the bottom of my housing that allow me to decide exactly where I want to aim my camera and make sure it's not moving underwater. The final thing for my setup when I'm doing macro photography is that I can place also the housing for my GoPro on top. And like this, if a big animal or something special happens that is too big for my lens, then I can still make a video of it. If you like this video, don't hesitate to put a like, a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Bye-bye, see you next time.